let's take a look at how we can set Blender up for multiple displays. So go ahead and start Blender up and head on over to the top left hand corner and click on Windows and then select New Window. This is going to give us a new window that we can dock onto our secondary monitor. Now, when I'm modeling, I like to have my orthographic views open. So I'm just going to click on Control Alt Q in order to bring up our quad view. And then I'm going to dock this on my secondary monitor. Now, this is also quite handy while texturing. I like to have one window dedicated to my model. And on the other window, I've got my shader editor. So let's go ahead and place that back on the secondary monitor. Let's switch back to our layout and head back to Windows. And I'm just going to click on toggle window full screen. And I'm also going to uncheck show status bar. And that's going to give us a little bit more screen real estate. And once we've done all these changes, we're going to need to save this so that when we start Blender up again, it opens with all the changes that we've made. So I'll head over to file and under that, I'm going to come down to defaults and say save startup file. So go ahead and click on that and then accept it. So every time you start up Blender, it's going to open with the changes that we've just made. So this is what I've got going on on my primary monitor. And on the secondary one, we've got the quad view. And when I switch to the shading tab, I've got a window dedicated for my model. And on the other screen, I've got the node editor. So the next time you start up Blender, you should have a similar looking setup.